Greetings folks. As you probably know I don't fly multi-rotors so up until now I have pretty much avoided uh, having to deal with flight control boards and GPS control and things like that and that suited me fine. I don't really need them on my fixed wing planes. Um, if I wanted to do long, -term, uh, long range FPV then what I have used is a, a Begoli uh, very simple return to home system uh, from Mad RC. I'll show you more about that in a future video. Really good simple system. But that is all about to change because I have in my hot little hand one of these uh, Paris Sirius Air 3 INAV based flight control board and this one's configured pre-configured for fixed wing. This is all new to me. I'm a little bit nervous because I don't really know anything about it. My flight control board experience is very limited. I, I have set up a a one axis gimbal using an A32 and clean flight that worked okay initially. For some reason, it doesn't work anymore and I can't fix it, so that's about the extent of my knowledge of, of these sorts of things. And this came about because of my recent review of the Sky Hunter, uh, awesome Sky Hunter long range FPV plane. I really love that plane, it's, it's one of the best big uh, FPV planes. That one came from Bangor, and you just wouldn't buy it in Australia from Bangor because the shipping is just outrageous, it's probably more expensive than the plane itself. But I got contacted by uh, MultiWeCopter.com, Quentin Marias, I think it is, from, from MultiWeCopter, left a comment and said that they stock these in Australia, and I had a look at the website, and they certainly do, and the price is way cheaper than what you can get it from, from Banggood too. And he also said that we have the uh, INAV-based flight controller, which would suit the, suit the Sky Hunter perfectly. So here I am with one in my hand and this is a new adventure for me working out how to put a GPS enabled flight controller on a fixed wing. This is going to be exciting. My good mate Matthew Ogborn and Lee from uh, Painless360 have both done extensive video series on uh, using iNav on fixed wing and I'll put links to them in the description. But this is pre-configured for fixed wing so apparently it's very easy, you don't need to know hell of a lot but uh, in future videos I'll show you what I've learned as I learn it setting this up. Now I didn't know a lot about the history of uh, clean flight and, and INAB and all that sort of stuff so I asked Quentin from uh, Multi Wee Copter and he sent me this really interesting uh, email. Some of the history that's, that's led up to INAB I'll just quickly go, go through this because it's quite interesting. Initially uh, the first sort of drone controllers were based on the uh, Nintendo Wii uh, game controller because they had gyros and accelerometers already built in and some clever people sort of adapted the, the code from that and called it Multi-Wii uh, and that was open source code available for everyone to, to load onto a flight control board and control their, their drones. Actually Quentin from Multi-Wii Copter was one of the first people who was uh, dabbling in coding of that sort, so that's uh, that's fairly impressive. Back in Neolithic times, about uh, 2010, which is way before I even got into RC. From that multi weed code came base flight, um, and then from base flight came clean flight, and they're all sort of optimised for flying multi rotors using a flight control board. And very recently, iNav has been developed from clean flight, and that adds GPS. Uh, capabilities to the flight control board so that you can have GPS control of your fixed wings and well quad quads and everything basically anything you want to put it on. So multiweecopter.com is an Australian based company that uh, sells, designs, manufactures flight control boards, uh, Scarab brand multi rotors uh, and also they have the Carbon Bird line of gear that uh, they design and make and endorse. Very cool name, uh, and I have a, got some very cool Carbon Bird decals to put on here as well. One of the Carbon Bird products designed and built by Multiwee Copter is this uh, awesome looking motor, which is specifically designed for the F big, big wing like the FX79. Uh, and I also have an awesome folding prop, aeronaut flight folding prop um, and all the bits and pieces needed to get that going. 
And this motor, it just looks seriously good quality. I'm, I'm betting this is by far the best quality motor I will have ever, ever used. Uh, I think it's an 1111kV motor. It's a big monster. But I'm going to put that on the FX79, uh, and I'll probably eventually put it on the Sky Hunter as well. I'm sure it's uh, purpose-built for that as well. Now, these flight controllers apparently work best with high-quality digital uh, Metal Gear servos. So, of course, they've sent me some Carbon Bird branded KST servos. These are seriously good quality servos. I use them in uh, the wing form in my DLG. Awesome, awesome servos. What I'm going to do first with the flight control board is, is try it out on something indestructible like a Texuma or something like that, nice and simple, because uh, INAV enables some very, very cool features such as uh, return to home, which is essential if you're doing FPV, stabilised flight. Uh, I don't use stabilised flight much, but I think that might change with this one. And also a really, really cool feature uh, called auto launch, uh, which means you, if you put it in auto launch mode, you can click the right settings on your transmitter and just throw the wing or the plane or whatever. And as soon as it leaves your hand, the motor spools up, the plane takes off in stable flight and gives you time to turn around, pick up your transmitter and take control. I really, really want to try that feature, but yeah, that's why I'm going to try it on something like an indestructible Texumo first. So what is INAV? Well, INAV is the open source code uh, that everyone can download, that you load onto your flight control board, as long as it's a board that supports INAV. And through uh, INAV Configurator, which is uh, an extension to Chrome or an app, that, a Chrome app, I suppose, you can connect up your board to your computer change all the settings, set up all the flight modes, copy other people's settings, things like that. Basically, it's the set of instructions that you load onto your flight control board to make your craft work the way you want to. Here's what comes in the Paris Sirius Air 3 packet. We have the flight control board in a nice little housing, aluminium bottom. I think it's gel damped in there. M89 GPS with compass, already connected. We have, uh, I'm guessing that's an S-Bus or a PPM connection in there. And we also get the PWM connection as well. So this one is for connecting to a receiver in the conventional way with each channel separate. This one is for connecting to uh, S-Bus or the PPM connection, which allows you to put all channels through one, one wire. I have never actually used PPM or SBUS before, so that will be interesting as well. There are all the six channel connections there, GPS connection on that side, USB connection down here for connecting to your computer and configuring. Carbon Bird has been a major sponsor of the development of INAV right from the beginning, and you'll see their name listed in the list of major sponsors on the INAV site. Now another cool thing about MultiWeeCopter.com is that they have FR Sky gear as well, so uh, their prices for FR Sky receivers, which I buy a lot of them, are comparable with anywhere else in the world, so that's where I'm going to get my FR Sky receivers from. Thanks very, very much, Quentin, uh, and MultiWeeCopter and Carbon Bird. This is awesome. This is pulling me, kicking and screaming into the future, and I can't wait. It's going to be fun. Thanks for watching.